Yes, Rasta Plus 2017. And I'm here with the legendary Twinkle Brothers. How have you been? Give thanks. It's good to be here, you know. It's the people listening to the music. And the music take us here. And we're here tonight, tomorrow, with somewhere else. But we give thanks to be here, you know, for the first time at the Rasta Plus, you know. Yes, the Rasta Plus Festival. And how have you been? Rasta Plus is a must, you know, when Twinkle Brothers is here. So, you know, I mean, we enjoy ourselves. So I hope the people enjoy us too, you know. Yeah. Give thanks. I hope yeah. maybe next couple of years' time we'll forward again, you know. Yeah. We'll forward again. So we give thanks to all the people that was here and for the people that will see it on the media because I know lots of people were running them camera and them phone and thing, you know. So we give thanks. So keep listening to the roots. And again, it's a must with Rasta Plus. Rasta now. Twinkle Brothers said that. Yeah? You, you've been playing reggae music for a very, very long, long time. Yeah, 55 and years now. 55 years we're in the business. Wow, 55 years. People, did you hear that? Rasta Plus 2017. 55 years. Yes. Wow. 1962. Yeah, and long before that, that was long before even the king of reggae music start playing, uh, start, you know? No, well, the business start out, everybody was there, you know, whether you were 10 years old or, or 15 or 20, whatever, you know, because Jamaica music, as you know, we started out in Ska in the 60s, and most of the artists that become famous or whatever, started out most of them started out around that time also so we give thanks that we were brushing shoulder with all the great same way you know and they are nice still here spreading the message same way you know so we just carry it on and we hope the younger people that are come can carry on what we have left for them said way yes i yes give i thanks. and it's a pleasure again to be here and one love rastafari i know yeah what were your influences? Well, the influence, you know, as I say, with culture music. You know, we started out in Jamaica listening to American music. And the American music was mostly soul or jazz or whatever. But when Jamaica got independent in 1962, as I say, I was 12. And we started to think of our own struggle and start to put music together. Because we started singing about, baby, I love you, like everybody else. But to see that the message is in the music and people are listening so for a little place like Jamaica that present reggae music to the world and the world now adapt the music and also the message and trying to live up to a lot of the world because the power is in the world you know and we give thanks for the word and reggae is spreading that love you know and unity amongst all people you know so we give thanks again yes yes man right. 